Hi, I'm David Reeser, Principal of Great Bend Middle School. I want to welcome you to the building. I would like to take you on a little tour of the building. Why don't you follow me? Now we're going to just cover some of the things that would be covered in the bond issue. We're not going to be able to do everything at this time, but we're going to start with just a few of the, the real big issues. And one of the main ones is safety and security. The things is, is about having a safe and secure entrance to the building. Right now, if you look over here, you can see where we have a bunch of glass doors. And when we allow somebody into the building, they have to buzz in currently and then we we let them come in but the problem is is once they come into the building they have access to go anywhere they want to without stopping at the office first because the office is in that direction and we have had instances where people will head down and go into the hallways without checking into the office first and anybody can tell you anything they want to to get into the building okay so it's real important that they check in and have a secure entrance. If we could have, because what would happen in the bond issue, we would have an office area where when people enter the building, they have to come into the office and they don't have access to the rest of the building until they have gone through the office. And that would really help us to secure the building better for all involved. One of the items that is proposed in the bond issue is going to be about expanding and making a bigger cafeteria. Right now we are in the area that is the current cafeteria for Great Bend Mill School. One of our dilemmas here is that it's too small for even the just 7th and 8th grade. We have to actually set up tables in this hallway, which according to fire code is probably not a good thing, but we have to use this hallway to be able to sit all the kids. And so one of the issues that would help us is if we could get a cafeteria that would actually be able to fit a whole 7th grade class or a whole 8th grade class without having to use access areas. An additional item is if 6th graders are moved up to Great Bend Middle School, one of the issues that's going to cause us is to have a big enough area to be able to stagger our lunches. You'll just have to stagger it in order to be able to serve the kids in a reasonable amount of time. And so the current situation here in the space that we have, it would not allow us to be able to do that. The other part that's going to happen is when we have more kids, it requires us to serve kids more often and in a more fast method than what we currently do. Okay, we are now in what is the current orchestra room at Great Bend Middle School. In this space, we're getting over 50 kids that are in orchestra at a time, which is a great problem to have. The dilemma is, is it just gets too crowded in here. There's just not enough, it's not a big enough room to be able to have 50 students in here or more. Because when you have, when you're playing an orchestra student uh, instrument, you've got to have some space to be able to play the instrument. Uh, so that's one of the, the problems that we're running into. The other thing is its location. We just don't have another place to put it. So it's right next to the cafeteria and they're having to compete with the noise from the cafeteria and tr still trying to conduct class right here. All right, so in the proposal then is that each of our band, orchestra, and vocal would have their own dedicated area and space to use for class. We currently have to share band and vocal have to use the same space which creates issues and, and to the point where we really have no flexibility on scheduling where the kids will be for band and, and vocal. Okay, we are located in the original um, locker room for the boys in the school. The girls have one that's just like this one on the other side. These are the only locker rooms that we have in the school. So. This is used for PE. This is where every student stores their clothes for PE and gets dressed out for PE. And the girls have the same facility on their side. One of the issues we're going to run into is if we add sixth graders here is having even enough space to put all the sixth graders in here along with seventh and eighth grade. One of the things is, is if sixth graders are brought up to, to the middle school, they're going to have PE on a regular basis instead of their current situation where they don't have it every day or every other day like we do here at the middle school. So it's, a, it's an option for the kids when they're sixth graders to come up here and, and just to have some physical activity and gives them a, a, a break from a regular classroom. Uh, the other problem that we have in here and the way this, this facility is designed is how the lockers are and especially here in the middle for supervision wise because 
line of sight. Being an adult in here and supervising kids when they're getting changed out, you can't see around these, these big islands that we have here in the middle. It would be better if those were about half the size as what they are. So, that so going back to when we have teams that visit here to play us in, in our athletic sports, we only have one locker room for boys, one locker room for girls. That leaves us nowhere to put our visiting teams when they come here to, to play us. So our teams use our own locker rooms, but then we have to use like the weights room or we use the multi-purpose room or we put them in a classroom to get dressed at. And so with, with the bond, if we get the proposed bond, we would be able to address that and have a place for the visiting team to dress. We are located in the 300 hallway at Great Bend Middle School. This is what we call a seventh grade hallway. It has two seventh grade core teams. So what we would do with incoming sixth graders is that we would put them on one of three core teams. We want to have a school within a school concept, which means it's smaller. It means those four teachers will get to know the kids very, very well. Makes it to where kids don't fall through the cracks, okay? Their needs are met. The teachers meet on a common daily basis and they meet about the kids, that they all teach the same kids. So it meets the kids' needs better in that respect. Why would we want sixth graders at a middle school? Well, the reason being is, is because a middle school is designed better to meet the needs of sixth graders because they are more uh, developmentally closer to seventh and eighth graders because they're, they're starting to change. They're starting to become an adult. And so our curriculum here at the middle school is designed to help them with those changes and also to, to, uh, to adjust to becoming an adult and plus to support them in that. That's why we have an advisory time here that helps the kids to have an adult in the building that only has around 12 kids assigned to them and they get to know those kids very, very well and they meet with them every single day. And we start off our day that way so that the kids have an adult that touches base with them in the morning and then that helps them to get their day started on a positive note and they make it through the day and then they get to see that teacher again at the, at the next day at the beginning of the day for the same reason. That person is going to keep track of their grades. They're going to always have conversations with them about how school is going. And so that's one of the things that a sixth grader would get to experience here is to have somebody that's really going to be in tune to how they're doing in school. The other thing about having sixth graders up here is they're going to have their own wing just like this is a seventh grade wing. They would have their own wing where their classrooms would be located at. When they come up here they have the opportunity to take elective classes. So they would have the options of taking like art, uh, taking skills for living which is one of those classes that we use to help kids that are adolescents to, to help them with the changes in their life that's going on. That's where they go and they have a teacher that helps them through that and also they do goal setting during that time. They start to look at careers during that time. And uh, so that's an opportunity they would have. They would have art that they could take. They could have uh, a technology class that they would be able to take. There would be a computer class they would also take and it would be on a consistent basis. So it would be like at nine weeks at a time. The other reason why that sixth graders would fit really well at the middle school level is that the state standards are written sixth through eighth grade. So if we could have them here in this building, we could have more of a, a uh, aligned curriculum for them. To and the other thing that would provide us if, if the proposed bond issue was to pass and the, the sixth graders get their own wing, is they're also going to have their, we would have to add a storm shelter. Currently it's on the south end of the building. So everybody from the, this end of the building has to, has to walk almost like two city blocks to get to the, to the storm shelter. Whereas if we have a add-on to this, a, another storm shelter, we would be able to divide it up more evenly and that people would have quicker access to that shelter. Now the thing about these storm shelters is that it would be a multi-used room. It would be used for classes on a daily basis. So it wouldn't be a separate entity that just sits there empty all the time until there is a storm or a reason to use it. It's going to be used daily.
The other issue that the proposed bond issue would address is, of course, another piece of the safety issue is the, the intruder hardware. Well, and if you look down this hallway, you can see it's a lengthy hallway. And what happens if we do a lockdown? The teachers have to, the only way they can lock their door is they have to open their door, lock it on the outside, and then shut the door. Well, I think we're all pretty aware that's not a safe way to address when you have an intruder. If there's an intruder in the building, that just opens up the, the students and that staff member to, to possible injury. On the issue, we would be able to address that to where uh, the teachers would be able to remain secure in the classroom and secure the classroom from the inside. Okay, here we are out in front of the middle school, and if you are a parent that has ever had a student here at Great Bend Middle School, you know what it's like to have to pick up and drop off kids and what kind of a nightmare it is because of all the traffic. Last year we had eight instances of kids almost getting hit by passing vehicles, and it's just because of line of sight, not being able to see when kids are crossing, and then the year before that, we actually had a kid on the corner over here get hit by a vehicle. So those are the things that we would like to be able to address if, if the proposed bond issue is passed, is to have an off-street pickup and drop-off zone. So that would help with those safety issues and not be worrying about other traffic coming through and accidentally hitting a kid that's coming out into the, the, crossing, the crossing lanes. Well, thank you all for visiting and listening to this video of Great Bend Middle School and the issues that we have here at the school. If you have any additional questions or issues that you would like to visit about the proposed bond issue for Great Bend Middle School, please visit greatbendschools.net.